Something extraordinary and deeply concerning is happening in northeastern Japan this December of 2025. An earthquake of magnitude 6.7 struck the coastal region of Aomori Prefecture on Friday morning, December 12th, at 11.44 in the morning local time. This tremor, which was initially estimated at magnitude 6.5 by the Japan Meteorological Agency and subsequently revised to 6.7, represents the second major seismic event to shake the same region in less than a week. After an even more powerful earthquake of magnitude 7.5 struck the area on Monday night, December 8th. The intensity of the most recent earthquake was classified as 4 on the Japanese seismic scale, which ranges from 1 to 7, a level that, although considered moderate on this specific scale, still caused perceptible tremors across a vast area that included the regions of Aomori, Hokkaido, and Iwate. The tremors were felt even in more distant areas, demonstrating the destructive power released by the sudden movement of tectonic plates at that relatively shallow depth. The Japan Meteorological Agency immediately issued a tsunami warning predicting waves of up to 3.3 feet 1 meter in height along the Pacific coast, a safety protocol designed to protect coastal populations from one of the most devastating consequences of submarine earthquakes, although this specific warning was later suspended when ocean conditions stabilized. The pattern observed in these recent events has kept the international scientific community on maximum alert especially because the earthquake sequence presents alarmingly similar characteristics to those that preceded some of the worst seismic disasters in Japan's modern history. The United States Geological Survey independently confirmed the magnitude of 6.7 and provided precise data about the epicenter, validating the Japanese measurements and allowing for a more complete understanding of the event's dynamics. After Monday's earthquake, which reached magnitude 7.5, the Japan Meteorological Agency took the extraordinary measure of issuing an unprecedented special warning, advising residents of a broad geographic area extending from Hokkaido in the far north to Chiba, east of Tokyo, to remain vigilant due to the elevated possibility of another strong earthquake striking the region within a one-week period. This type of sequential warning is extremely rare in Japanese safety protocol and reflects the seriousness with which scientific authorities are treating the current situation. The combination of two powerful seismic events in such a short time interval suggests that the region is undergoing a period of significant tectonic adjustment where energy accumulated over decades in fault zones is being released in a dramatic and potentially dangerous manner. Seismology experts who monitor the region 24 hours a day through a complex network of seismic sensors, GPS monitoring stations, and ocean measurement equipment express particular concern about the fact that the sequence of events may not yet be finished, and additional tremors of significant magnitude remain a real possibility in the coming weeks. The immediate consequences of the magnitude 6.7 earthquake were felt dramatically by local communities with thousands of residents being forced to abandon their homes in response to evacuation warnings issued by municipal authorities. The city of Sendai, a major urban area in Miyagi Prefecture, in the northeastern part of the country, issued a specific evacuation order for people residing near rivers or in coastal areas, recognizing the elevated risk that tsunami waves, even of moderate height, represent for these vulnerable populations. Japan's Ministry of Education reported that seven public schools in Aomori Prefecture registered structural damage, including broken windows and wall cracks, while an impressive total of 139 schools were preventively closed throughout the province to ensure the safety of students and staff. The region's essential infrastructure suffered significant impacts that drastically affected the daily lives of tens of thousands of people. Thousands of residences were left without electrical power supply due to damage to the distribution network, while many communities also faced interruption in drinking water supply, creating a humanitarian situation that required coordinated emergency response from local and national authorities. Railway services, vital for daily transportation in Japan, were preventively suspended on several lines crossing the affected areas, leaving thousands of passengers temporarily without their main mobility options. Japan's Nuclear Regulatory Authority conducted immediate inspections at all nuclear facilities in the region and confirmed that no anomalies or safety issues were detected, a crucial verification considering the country's history with earthquake-related nuclear incidents. Despite the tremor's significant magnitude, information available to date indicates that there were no reports of fatal loss of human life directly attributable to this specific magnitude 6.7 event.
Although Monday's previous magnitude 7.5 earthquake resulted in at least 30 injured people, some of them seriously, this relatively positive outcome can be attributed to Japan's rigorous anti-seismic building codes, which require all buildings to be designed to withstand intense tremors, as well as to the efficient early warning system that allowed many people to seek shelter before the strongest shaking reached their areas. The tsunami waves generated by the event remained within predictions, not exceeding 3.3 feet, one meter, in height, thus avoiding the type of coastal devastation that larger tsunamis can cause. Japan's emergency response system, refined over decades of experience with natural disasters, went into action immediately after the tremor with rescue and damage assessment teams being rapidly mobilized to the most affected areas. Local authorities established temporary evacuation centers to shelter displaced families, providing not only shelter, but also food, drinking water, and basic medical assistance for those in need. The Japan Fire and Disaster Management Agency coordinated response efforts throughout the region, working closely with local governments, self-defense forces, and volunteer organizations to ensure that all emergency needs were met quickly and efficiently once again demonstrating the resilience capacity that the Japanese people have developed from constantly living under the threat of natural disasters. The northeastern region of Japan carries in its collective memory the deep and indelible scars of the catastrophic magnitude 9.0 earthquake that occurred on March 11, 2011, an event that generated a devastating tsunami with waves that reached up to 131 feet 40 meters, in height in some coastal areas. That historic disaster resulted in approximately 18,500 lives lost or missing and triggered the Fukushima nuclear accident, considered the worst disaster of its kind since Chernobyl in 1986. The terrifying images of that catastrophe, with giant waves swallowing entire cities and the subsequent nuclear crisis that unfolded in the damaged reactors, remain vividly etched in the Japanese and global national consciousness serving as a somber reminder of the destructive power that nature can unleash in these geologically active zones. The collective trauma of that 2011 event continues to profoundly influence how Japan responds to current seismic threats, with authorities adopting a stance of extreme caution whenever significant events occur. Each tremor of considerable magnitude in the northeastern region inevitably awakens painful memories, and generates renewed anxiety in communities that lost loved ones, homes, and livelihoods in that previous tragedy. Warning systems have been substantially improved since 2011, with massive investments in early detection technology, fortification of coastal structures, and comprehensive public education programs on disaster preparedness, transforming Japan into one of the world's best prepared countries to face seismic threats. Beyond the immediate threat represented by the current earthquake sequence in the Northeast, Japan faces long-term concerns related to the Nankai Trough, a 497-mile, 800-kilometer, long submarine seismic zone located off the country's southern coast, where the Philippine Sea Plate is slowly sinking beneath the continental plate upon which Japan sits. In August 2024, the Japan Meteorological Agency issued its first special warning for the southern part of the Pacific coast due to the possibility of a strong earthquake along this trough a warning that triggered runs on supermarkets and massive travel cancellations before being suspended after one week. The Japanese government estimates that a major earthquake in the Nankai Trough, followed by a tsunami, could result in up to 298,000 lives lost and cause economic damage that could exceed $2 trillion, numbers that illustrate the magnitude of the existential threat that seismic events represent for the nation. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature that continuously shape our planet and wish to continue learning about Earth's most extraordinary and powerful geological phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss upcoming content about earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, and other natural events that demonstrate the dynamic and constantly transforming nature of our world. Our commitment is to bring accurate information based on reliable scientific sources about the most important geological events affecting millions of lives around the globe. Together, we can better understand the mechanisms that govern our planet and appreciate the extraordinary resilience of human communities that have learned to live and prosper even in Earth's most geologically challenging regions, transforming scientific knowledge into practical preparation and awareness into action.